Well, industrial construction generally involves some type of manufacturing, um, you know, examples uh, that we have done lately. Uh, we do a lot of work from Meadville Forging Company and uh, Channel Lock here locally. Um, it, you know, we generally, if it's a new building, would be looking at pre-engineered metal buildings. Um, they could have cranes in them. They uh, generally involve a lot of concrete work. Uh, last year we did a project for Lord uh, up in Segertown, Pennsylvania, and we actually had to build blast walls. Um, those blast walls were designed in case the, the uh, specific material they were working on in that, that new building um, caused a fire and could cause an explosion, didn't take out the rest of the plant. So um, concrete work is really a big thing in industrial. Uh, you can have uh, these big presses that require special foundations dug down into the ground, um, furnaces that required pits underneath them. Um, we're familiar with all that and uh, um, actually have our own crews that, that uh, can perform that work. Uh, medical construction, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's a lot cleaner construction. Um, you generally are, are looking at uh, bricks and mortar on the exterior of a building, structural steel, and then interior finishes or, or uh, you know, metal studs and drywall. Um, can have very specific requirements. If there's x-ray rooms, there could be lead lining uh, on drywall, uh, lead lining in doors, and special windows, viewing windows. Um, clean rooms require special HVAC systems uh, with HEPA filtration, possibly. And um, we just are in the process of completing a uh, a new clinic for Meadville Medical Center in Conneautville right now. Um, and we're getting ready to start, it's actually started this week, a, a, a new doctor's office for a Whole Health uh, Joint Institute here in Meadville. And um, that was a complete design build project that um, is a two-story building. It will have x-ray in it, so again, those specialty items. Uh, institutional construction um, usually involves uh, things like uh, um, nursing homes. Um, probably the most pre prevalent one you know around here is the nursing homes. It could be schools. Uh, we have several customers that we work for. Uh, Westbury here locally. Uh, we've done a lot of work for them. Um, one of the things specifically with institutional, especially with uh, renovations and additions, is you're working around existing people. Uh, it could be kids, it could be elderly, so there's a lot more precautions that have to be taken. Um, all of our people are background checked and uh, uh, to make sure if we're, you know, if there's kids on site, such as uh, we do a lot of work for Bethesda, uh, Lutheran Services, and um, I, again, the, the type of construction is, is similar to medical in that it's bricks and mortar and, and finishes, you know, metal studs, drywall inside. Um, but again, just uh, a little different in, in the work atmosphere. Uh, usually, the, one of the main differences is, um, or two main differences are usually cost and uh, timelines. Um, you know, your institutional projects and your medical projects generally are more expensive. Um, they have a lot more requirements to meet and they, they um, take longer generally to build. Institutional, or I'm sorry, uh, industrial um, are usually can be fairly quick projects. Um, you know, when you're using pre-engineered metal buildings, they go up fairly quickly. Uh, there's usually not a lot of finishes inside, so um, we, we can get in, get foundations in, get buildings up, and you know, get them complete on a lot quicker basis.
Thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate your time. And uh, if you have any more questions, uh, don't hesitate to look at our website or give us a call here. We uh, certainly can help. Thank you.